how to link to block categories on a Squarespace site. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to link to your uh, blog categories into your Squarespace website and also how you can put them in different ways. So we are going to let you see here uh, some different methods. So you are going to have some uh, different uh, placement for those links. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to squarespace.com, sign in for an account and choose the website that you have. For example, here we have the dashboard of the websites that we have created. If you do not have a website, click on create a website or you are going to get this page instead in case you have no uh, website created. So you are going to put here the type of website, select the template and boom, here we have it. Now I'm going to select this website, for example, and here we are going to make sure that it is going to be containing the blog. So how we can do that, we are going to head over here. We are going to see the pages and make sure that we are going to install the blog. So obviously I do not have a collection for the blog, so we are going to add it right away. I'm going to click on add blog. Here we are going to add this one. So it is going to be installing our blog. So this is the blog that we have. Now, what are we going to do is to head over here and start uh, creating the blog content. So I'm going to exit that. Here we have the blog content. So we are going to add some blog content. Maybe we are going to get here with the help of chat GPT. So we are going to head over to chat GPT. And we are going to type in here food blog post, for example, write me like that. So I will get here the help of the chat GPT. What we're going to do is to get here the information about. So we are going to type in here the title. Let's see here. A taste something like that. We are going to copy paste here the title and make it a little bit big, uh, smaller. So this title is a little bit big. So maybe you can go ahead and modify it. I don't know. So let's see here the color format, the color. Here we have something that is very big. So we are not going to put that here. So maybe we are going to put here the title as something here. A taste of comfort, for example. This is maybe better. Now here we are going to start writing. So we are going to get here all the contents that um, here the uh, chat GPT gave us. So paragraph number two, we're going to see, boom. This is the uh, post. Now you can go ahead and add some images right there. You can add some hyperlinks, whatever. So obviously I'm going to click on publish. So this is it. We need a link for it. So now what are we going to do is to head over here for the blog content. So I'm going to click on here on the uh, blog uh, or the post that we have set. I'm going to click on setting for it. And from here, we are going to search for the um, options for the category. We're going to see here options. We are going to see the status, the tags and the categories. For those who doesn't know, the tags and the categories are going to be a little bit similar. So if you are going to filter some blog posts by categories, you can go ahead and filter them by uh, tags. So I'm going to filter them by categories. For example, here we are going to type in food. This is the first category. Now, what are we going to see here? Food. I'm going to type it here. I'm going to select it. Boom. You can add here multiple ca uh, categories. For example, here like tech, I don't know here about, uh, let's say here beverages, beverage, whatever. I'm going to click on enter. So we are going to put here in food. I'm going to click on save and it has normally set up the category for it on the uh, here on food. So we are going to be back here. Now it is assigned normally. Now this one, I'm going to put it here as, for example, the category we are going to put in here, uh, maybe um, nature, 
then we are going to select it so i'm going to see here the categories for each one of the content now uh, what are we going to do is to link these categories well, how can we link them i have created them now you can go ahead and see that they are going to be on the uh, menu on the main navigation we are going to give here the shop also i'm going to put here everything so you're on the blog here so you can see here the categories showing up here now what are you going to do is to add a to the main navigation a link so we are going to see here link now we are going to add a title for the link for example as the name of the category for example food now for the url we are going to select here from the blog and we are going to see it here so we are going to select here the blog category not the blog itself but we are going to head over here and set up the uh, blog category so we are going to click on save and you are going to see it normally added do we have the food now uh, everything is set up so you are going to see here the food whatever i'm going to put here the shop also now how we can make the uh, blog uh, put in or dropping down a menu for the categories this is an interesting question so basically when you set up here or hover the mouse about the blog you're going to see here a drop down menu for the categories it is very simple the blog here could not get here the um, additional uh, sub menu so what are we going to add here is adding a um, let's say file or we are going to see here uh, the folder i need to add a folder here or it is named for here a drop down so we are going to name it or choose the drop down it was called a folder but now it is going to be drop down so we are going to name it for example blog as the same name as here so we are going to name this folder as blog and what i am going to do is to name here the blog the navigation to it as all the posts for example we're going to uh, i'm not going to discord but all the posts we're going to click on here i'm not going to change the uh the slug for it so we are going to head it here and we are going to add the subcategory here which is going to be food going to place it here we can add another page for example and also a link so we have added uh, nature also we are going to type in nature we're going to select here nature we are going to see it here on the category we're going to click on save and it is going to be added right there so whenever i see the blog i hover the mouse about it it will show up here the drop down menu here we have all the posts the food it will filter up the food so here we have the read more taste of comfort as you can see and if we are going to type in nature it will show up here the nature one so we can go ahead and read all the posts that is going to be here all the posts for example everything so we need only to set up here the images or the um, art covers for these specific categories now let's head over for example another page and see this is a page that i want to add a category filter so how we can add that so basically i'm going to add here something like this one and we are going to delete this image i'm going to add a block here and this block is going to be named i think archive or here we have it filters and lists we are going to have here archives and i am going to edit that specific one so basically we are going to head over this play we are going to put the layout as a drop down so this is better now the drop down title we are going to put here category category so I think that this is not going to work well here 
but we are going to head over the blog. So we are going to click on exit. We are not going to save. I'm going to head over the blog. I'm going to uh, here to all the posts. I'm going to do that here. I think this is a proper way to do that. I'm going to add a section, a blank section. We're going to make it a little bit small. Add that block to it. Archive. We're going to put it here to the middle. Edit it. Display. Select the drop down. Boom. Now the name category. Category. Where is the name of it? So category. Category. So boom. Now we are going to uh, set up here the content, all the posts. So we are going to see here the basic grid, for example, for product, it is going to be set up something like that. And here we are going to see, I'm going to save it, click on exit and see the role of it. So here are the, uh, as you can see, the, uh, the filter is going to be on the um, dates. So we are going to put up here group by category. So we are going to say, uh, set the name. So we are going to click on save here. We're going to see the track real quick. I'm going to click on exit. So this has no content yet. It's items you add to this page connected to this block will display here. So we are going to basically right there to set up the display so by name count so it is going to be by name here we have a uh, problem with this block for the content it is added i don't know why it is written as not added but here we have it so the problem here was something related to the categories so here we have it everything is set up here how we can uh, resolve that problem is you click on here now the shoot or the content is going to be here as you can see we have shop we have the basic grid blog here all the posts uh, i have chosen accidentally here shop so we need to set it as post all the posts here and you're going to see it or here i'm going to click on save so this is not what i wanted to do but we are going to put this here so display category boom save and exit here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one